Have you saved all of your woodworking commission money, all your birthday money, all your Christmas gifts money, all your money from the tooth fairy, any penny you could scrape together to put a CNC machine in your shop? Has it been your career aspiration or your lifelong dream to have a CNC in your shop? And now that it's there and you've built an amazing workstation, you have no idea how the hell to use it. If that's the case, and you find yourself fitting that description, first of all, I don't think you're alone. And second of all, I'm here to help. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the shop. My name is Ben from the Benjamin Butler Company, and I've spent a ton of time learning how to use the CNC machine behind me. I have a ShopBot Desktop Max machine, which is a two foot by three foot cutting area, its own designated spindle, and I absolutely love this machine. I'll admit though, when it came to my shop, I had no idea how to use this thing. In my adventures to learn about how to use this machine, the one thing I did learn is that content around CNC woodworking is incredibly confusing. It's very long form, and I would often find myself scrubbing through 20 minutes of video to find a little small nugget. So I've made it my mission to change the game and create concise and effective content that allows you to learn how to use your CNC machine quickly and efficiently. Today, I'm releasing the first three videos in a series I'm calling CNC in three. And the best part is I've limited myself to just three minutes per video. We'll boil down the content to the absolute necessary things you'll need to build the project that I've outlined in the title and the thumbnail. No more scrubbing through footage trying to find the one nugget that the title suggests is there, only to find it isn't. We'll start with some fairly simple projects and move towards the more advanced as the series progresses. My goal is to create a community of CNC operators that learn from each other. So if you have questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the comments section below. Please don't be shy, there are no stupid questions. Odds are, someone else has the very same question you do. Well, my projects are based on what I've got going on here in my shop at the time of filming. But if there's a topic you'd like to see me cover, please let me know that down below as well. I'll do my best to fit it into a future video. And if that's not possible, I'd like to at least reach out to you and see if there's anything I can do to help. I'm certainly not a CNC expert, nor will I ever claim to be. So if there's a better way that you know of to complete a project or a process that I'm outlining, please don't hesitate to say something. My goal is that we create an open community where we all learn from each other. The CNC machine can be as frustrating as it is rewarding. And in my experience, I often just need one small piece of info to allow myself to move forward. My hope is that these videos provide those small nuggets for you so that you can advance and move forward in your projects as well. So if you like what you hear so far, do me a really big favor. Click on the subscribe button down below and click the bell icon as well. The bell icon tells YouTube to send you a message every time I upload new content so you won't miss any of the CNC in three video series. While you're at it, if you have a project in mind or a CNC operation that you're struggling to figure out, let me know down in the comments as well. I've got a ton of really cool projects that I'm so excited to share with you. And so as I said earlier, Today, November 2021, the first three videos in the CNC in three series are live here on my YouTube channel and you can check them all out and let me know what you think. I hope everybody has an awesome day and remember to always make time 
for making things.